Hello, so I'm Caio, and uh, today I'm going to talk about KPM Core, explain about what this library is, and uh, I think that most of you know what K the Partition Manager is, so I will not explain that. And uh, I will talk about the release of KD Partition Manager 4.0 and the goals for the future of the library. So for those who don't know me yet, I'm Caio and I'm a Brazilian, Brazilian KD contributor. And I work for, uh, with uh, KD Partition Manager, Calamaris, which is maintained by Adrian. And now I'm uh, starting a new KD application which is called Mark, and this is a data set builder for AI and uh, supervised machine learning. And also I'm a student at the Federal Institute of Bahia. So these are my presentation topics. I will start explaining about KPM Core, about my work on season of KD 2000. 18, about my work on Google Summer of Code 2018, and uh, I've been working as a mentor in Google Summer of Code 2019. I will explain some new features uh, released in the KD Partition Manager 4.0 and uh, the goals for the future. So for those who don't know, who don't know what KPM Core is, it's basically the core of the KD Partition Manager, as the name suggests. Uh, and it's basically a library for managing partitions, doing some disk operations, and it includes now RAID support, LVM support, and uh, it can be used by not only KD Partition Manager, but uh, other applications. It is used by Calamaris, the partitioning module of Calamaris. And uh, it has been in development for uh, a amount, some amount of a good number of years. And uh, first, I will explain my work on season of KD 2018, which was uh, focused on the replacement of uh, a maintained Libyata Smart Library to the par to the parsing of the Smart. Control, smart control command in KD Partition Manager. So uh, LibAuthor Smart is a library to manage the smart support, to see some information about your disks, how, uh, about the status of your disks, and some other data. But it's not ma maintained since uh, 2010, 2011, so we decided to use the smart control instead, which was released in this year for, for smartphone tools. And uh, one of my works involved the parsing of the smart control JSON output. Uh, I could remove the libauto smart library dependency, and I also worked uh, on something more than the smart support, which was the improvement of the uh, authentication support uh, with Kout, so users can now uh, do only one one step of authentication instead of many. And during Google Summer of Code 2018, I could finish LVM group support on KD Partition Manager, and I've also implemented some uh, uh, graphic interfaces for LVM support in Calamaris as well. I've also implemented uh, M MD RAID support, so full support actually, uh, not only the creation of r RAID uh, devices, but uh, the edit, the manipulation, and all the other procedures. It's not full stable now, that's why we couldn't release it with uh, KD Partition Manager 4.0, because there are some issues with the device mapping, but uh, our one of our goals that I will explain later is to merge uh, the MD RAID work with uh, KPM Core. And uh, there is also uh, a plan to uh, integrate not only MD RAID, but DM RAID, which are two different types of RAID for Linux. Uh, during Google Summer of Code 2019, 
we worked with our students Shubhan on the uh, port, the authentication process from Kout to Pokit Qt1 because we uh, needed to remove the, the extra layers from Kout and uh, use uh, Pokit Qt directly. And uh, our student also needed to improve the key, key D-Bus communication because now the, the authentication process is uh, done by the helper. We, we, we start a D-Bus helper which we can uh, use to, to do the, the process that need authentication. And uh, in KD Partition Manager from 4.0, uh, we could port the KPM core backend from libported to SF disk. This uh, is part of one of our plans to make uh, KD Partition Manager more portable, including the portability to, to free BSD. And uh, my work with uh, the smart support were, were, was merged, and uh, we included the better support for Lux2, which was implemented uh, in KD Partition Manager 3.3 by Andrius. And uh, now we have the support for some new uh, file systems such as APFS and Microsoft BitLocker. We also include the uh, uh, modern C++ and uh, uh, all these ports on uh, both uh, of Smart and that as <coughs> SF disks make, made the KPM more portable. And uh, goals for the future, as I said before, we want to bring full compatibility with FreeBSD, and uh, we also want to finish the Pokit port, because now there are some issues with the, with the current implementation, especially on the scanning process. And uh, we want to evolve FS support Include some specific features for file systems and uh, merge MD RAID and uh, finish the implementation of DM RAID. And another goal is to increase the number of automated tests because now we, we do, do not have a proper number of tests in KD Partition Manager. And that's it. I would like to say thanks to KDE for this opportunity and all the other opportunities that I have received. Yeah. All right, thank you, Kayo. Are there questions about KPM Core? It's not his fault, it's Kalamatas' fault, okay? <laughs> How did you know what I was going to ask? We, we want to use Calamaris in Neon, and one of the limitations is uh, full disk in, encryption. Is that, is that your fault, or is that his fault? Where's the, <laughs> where's the responsibility for that? Probably it's Andrew's fault, but uh, I'm not uh, like <laughs> say that it's his fault. I don't like people. <laughs> it's my fault. Other questions? Yep, we got one up there. Um, is it possible for you to go into some of the technical reasons why you kind of moved away from KOF and closer just to Polk itself? Okay, so one of the decisions was because we do not use all the features from KOF, so it's kind of, uh, uh, there are some dependencies that we are not f completely used. So we, we just needed uh, Polk it for to authenticate the helper, it's basically that because we call the we start the debug service with a, a super user, and uh, yeah, it's basically that. It was more uh, Andrew's decision than mine, and uh, yeah. Partitioning is a bit of a weird creature because you need to run multiple commands. You need to. Uh, DD zeros onto your MBR, you need to reinitialize the MBR, then you have to make partitions, then you have to fill file systems, and, blah, 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 blah. and so you have to run a bunch of things in a row, and all of it takes a long time. And so you've, there's, there's something, there's special authentication stuff happening anyway with the helper, and that kind of 
makes chaos a weird match. Any other questions? Otherwise, I want to ask you about ZFS. Um, because with ZFS on Linux now being the source of truth for ZFS, um, and we have unified uh, FreeBSD, Illumos, and Linux ZFS implementations, that's one of the most portable file systems around. Um, do you see KPM Core supporting ZFS soon? Yeah, it's one of our uh, plans for the next version, is to work directly on file system, not only including new file system that we do, do not have support now, but uh, uh, including the, as I said before, some features, because now we only work with FS as a, with uh, the file system support uh, in a more, how can I say that, but uh, in a more abstract way. So yeah, I can, I can do that. Cool. We got one more question over here. Is support of hardware crypto, so use B-Stick with say something like a Nitro key uh, or, or, or similar, that holds the key to your encrypted disk. Is this something that you currently support or have on the roadmap to support? Mm. Uh, I'm I'm not the best best person to talk about that because I've not implemented the Lux support, so I'm not uh, aware about encryption. And uh, it's better to send a message to to Andreas talking about that. And yeah, I'm not the best. So there's, a, there's an interaction it's between... It's a complete integration thing. Yeah, it's a complete integration thing that where KPM core enters into the equation, but also wh whatever your distro yeah, does. Or Calamatis. Or Calamatis, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Or installer, too. It needs to be clever enough to know what to do. It's not clever enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Otherwise, otherwise, there is coffee and possibly cake. Oh, Maybe. hang on, hang on. Johan is... Johan is keeping you away from coffee and cake. I want you to know that. Um, maybe I'm missing something, but SF disk. Um, do you understand? Uh, does KPM Core understand uh, G, uh, GPT tables? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was the best question ever. It was short and it had a one-word answer. Thank you. Every, let's give Kaio a hand.